All right, uh, we are coming to you live from the Walter Sisulu Botanical Gardens this morning for a rather momentous, I want to say historic moment for the unveiling of the Sisulu Circle this morning. And with 11 beautiful botanical gardens scattered across sunny South Africa, it is internationally classified as um, conservation gardens, and it really serves as a window into South Africa's biodiversity and something that we as South Africans can be very, very proud of. Right now, I am standing with the Minister of Environmental Affairs, Dr. Edna Molewa. Uh, Honourable Minister, Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Can I just say, you look absolutely beautiful oh, this morning. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If it comes from you, <laughs> great. <laughs> How are you feeling ahead of this momentous occasion that's going to be happening this morning? Well, I'm very excited indeed with my colleagues here present. We are just uh, over the moon. The fact that we could actually be here today and dedicate this day to our own hero and hero and Mama Susulu and yes. Tata Susulu, but also during the Nelson Mandela uh, centenary year. Had they been alive, they would really be uh, just enjoying this with us. You're giving me goosebumps by saying <laughs> that. And we couldn't have asked for a better day because I believe it was a little bit rainy over the past two days here in uh, Johannesburg. Sunshine coming out this morning, really just amplifying what is going to be happening here today. But um, let's quickly talk about the role of the South African National Biodiversity Institute and what role do they play with regards to biodiversity conservation in South Africa? three or rather four reasons indeed that I want us to share with South Africans what role did biodiversity play in South Africa. First of all, we are a nation that has ensured that we enshrine in our constitution the right to environment and to preserve and conserve this environment for future generations yeah. as a country. Number two, the Convention of Biodiversity actually obliges us to conserve yeah. these areas and we have over uh, 7,000 hectares of land that we have actually put aside. That's besides the other protected areas that we are doing this for. The third reason yeah. is for tourism. We want our people to enjoy themselves, to be here, have a healthy life, uh, and really come here to breathe this nice air and enjoy themselves, but also to increase income, to create jobs for our people to fight poverty. Those are the major reasons why we're actually having this bot botanical garden. This is one of the growing ones. Yes. Very much growing indeed. And, and this is my second official time here at this particular botanical garden. And there's this air of just relaxation. And this is what it's all about. And with the Susulu Circle in addition as well, that to really amplify what people can experience here at the garden. Now, uh, we've heard a little bit earlier on uh, from um, uh, Minister Derek Harnacom from uh, the South African Tourism that we are classified as the third most mega diverse country in the world, which is a phenomenal, phenomenal, uh, almost uh, achievement, can I say. But what do you feel that that we as South Africans, as departments, need to do to maintain that mark? 196 countries of the world, number three being South Africa. We are very proud of that. Meg, most mega diverse country, it means we are actually amongst the like-minded mega diverse countries. And indeed, we need to preserve this to conserve it going forward. What do we need to do? Every South African firstly start by enjoying it. You don't destroy anything that you enjoy. Ensure that if you find any species of anything. Our scientists are working day and night, by the yeah. way, to keep us at this. Uh, we are number three after Indonesia and Brazil. Sure. So keep it up and let us uh, really just continue to research and work harder, preserve that which has been reserved. Yeah. If they say to you, don't destroy a psychic, yeah. just don't do it because those are the things that gives us value. If you put an orchid, for instance, the orchid society is here to tell us more about one of the species that have been found recently that they wow. discovered just here around this botanical garden, which they will announce later. And we really just don't want to take thunder for a steal thunder from them, <laughs> but it's named after this mama of ours. This is what we are here to celebrate, this orchid, a uh, be very beautiful one. The recently found one, and it's gonna be renamed after her. So don't destroy it. Had it been in just in the bush here and somebody destroyed it, yeah. we wouldn't have this uh, kind of uh, facility that we, I mean, the, yeah. the, the, the uh, facility that we have uh, to actually continue to boast about and bring more tourists uh, to this country. Uh, so yes, let's uh, continue to conserve. And like I mentioned, I mean, it is something that we as South Africans can be very proud of. And for, for people of South Africa, go and visit the Botanical Gardens, go and take a look at what we have. Um, just briefly, quickly, the Susulu Circle, um, what do you feel it's going to add to this particular Botanical Garden? As I said earlier on, it's mm. actually beginning to ensure that this uh, Botanical Garden does grow and all others grow through visitation in numbers of people who are coming here. 
Of course, it's not enough. We want some, many people to come so, to South Africa. Know your country. Somebody was saying to me earlier on as I was walking through here that, you know, they brought, uh, we brought members of parliament here and told them that, oh, there's gold here. And they were looking for a <laughs> mine. And we said, this is actually gold, our That's own it. kind of gold. So this uh, circle of Walter Sisulu is one of the gold that, uh, that we have yeah. in South Africa. We are very proud of it. It actually is having so much to tell about story and really life of our own hero. Who yeah. has been, and, and we're so proud to have uh, had my predecessors naming and yes. renaming this uh, botanical garden after him. Now we, there's an orchid as well to add on to the Mama Sisulu. So do come and visit and see the circle yourself. I don't want you to come and just hear us here and say, no, yeah. we're now telling <laughs> stories about it. Come and see so that you tell stories. Come as spend well. some time. Spend Dr. some Edna, time. Thank yeah. you very, very much for joining us this morning. Enjoy the rest of the morning. Like I said, you look absolutely phenomenal. Thank um, you. You fit the scene absolutely perfectly. <laughs> so we are here, of course, for the official unveiling of the Sisulu Circle. We'll be uh, doing that a little bit later on. So stick around right now. Let's get back to studio. Zoe and Graham in the kitchen.